In today's video, I coached the Diamond 2 player on how to play Sage on Icebox. It's very tough. So this situation, when we're down 4v5, you kind of want to do a more aggressive wall to let your let your teammates go for kills. Um, uh, oh, yeah, die. Okay, I see. So, yeah, yeah. Doing this wall just means that like they hold your, your sight, whereas if you do the aggressive one, they can cross and take more fights. Um, but it's all right. Okay, so in the position that you're in, you played it really well, actually. You stayed alive, you didn't overcommit, but the main focus here, like the throwing the slows here is really good when, when to delay, so this is great. Um, the Arena calls, I'll tell you when they cross yellow, and you can kind of tell just from uh, looking at his sight line here on the minimap, you, you should only be looking at your minimap at this point and trying to time your swing off of his contact. Um, so this is really important. He calls he smoked off here, so you know, you go for your own jiggle, this is great. And then at this point, right, like he gets contact, th this would be a really good swing for you to take to try to make your situation feel less, I guess, claustrophobic. Um, you turn around for a heal, something like that, whatever, take a jiggle, you know. We're actually really lucky that he did the smoke so far out. If he did it closer and they were pushing up on you, uh, I think it's just an L, but... Yeah. And no one's holding left side yellow on their team. It's kind of weird. Yeah, I was surprised they just pushed me and killed me. Mm -hmm. I was waiting for that. But yeah, you play this well. We love the Spectre. No, I... Overall good round. Um, the slows were really crucial there. That was good. Um, wall placement could have been a little bit different. And then obviously try to incorporate your res if you can. But well played reg regardless. Nice bonus. Right, right. right. Um, I guess a real quick one I can t show you is if you go here like just up against the wall and you aim at the top of this beam and you just uh, you know just throw it like normal it lands back sight here uh, so it's really good I like to combo this slow while my teammates are scaling up um, so that they can't get swung from back sight and then it also allows me to get the wall back here um, so a little nice lineup I, f I find that uh, just having like a couple of lineups on this map feels really nice with your slows uh, either the initial slow or the double slow here, but I will always do this backside slow when I'm scaling A So I can uh, Make sure I can get this wall down Typically whenever this slows up, I, I almost always can get this wall down and just stick the plant up It's a little bit better for you to show presence mid than it is B it's pretty rare that if you peek B here, you get a kill, but if you peek mid, you can get the guy walking down tube, and the guy peeking under tube, or the guy pushing up mid, right? Um, the B fight is very rare that anyone pushes up, so if you are going to go for a lurk play, it's typically better to lurk mid. So the smoke's here, right? Bomb's here. I think it's good for you to scale towards yellow or to scale close again. Just in case he taps, you can kind of capitalize. <laughs> Where is it? Nice. nice. The smoke fades perfectly. You can kind of see what I mean there, right? If the smoke lasts a little bit longer, it would have, it would have been nice for you to be close. Yeah. Um, but we play it pretty well. Take, but um, they have nowhere to stop flying, by the way. It's realistically, someone else's job to be covering mid right now. So we fast rotate. This is good. I don't like the rotate towards here. It's a lot better for you to go towards screen and then wall and play with your arena with your classic and then wall off maze or something like that. But if you rotate rafters, this is like a good spot if you have like a deagle or something. We have no one watching mid anymore, by the just way. We have no one watching mid anymore. So yeah, we're, we're kind of just covering your arena. It's, it's okay. I would, like I said, I would have rather you went maze and then just wall and slowed them down completely. Nice. So we rotate rafters and we're kind of just vibing, taking some weird jiggles, I'm stuff like that. that. I'll go watch it. Just to recap. Try to get your wall off. Uh, it's pretty good on pistol, just a delay if you wanted to. Obviously, you said before that you like to play the um, wall diffuse strat, but just to give you a couple ideas, right? When you rotate in pretty quickly, um, walling here is great to delay. Walling there is great to delay um, as, as a rotator. Um, if you can get into maze, I, I love doing stuff like that. The other option you could have done, like you, you were so paranoid about mid, is when the knife scans 3A, you can just walk down mid and then fight the lurker and then just wall off mid like we talked about before. Um, that could be really valuable just, just because we don't have the trip, I guess. Um, but yeah, after that, everything was really good. 
Walking down two pier round two is kind of greedy. Not a huge fan. It's like an A push. We don't need two B. They have a spec. No one's bit mid. No one's mid at all. Oh god. What a nade. Uh, two sight. I think one's nest. They might all be sight. Can't do anything versus that. It was a nice shot. Um, I think the main thing here is that we, our position, we're just stuck in mid. You almost always want to have your sage on the sides, right? So you almost always want your sage towards A to delay. Double slow is really good. Wall's good. Walling off B main is good, right? Things like that. Um, when you play mid like that and playing for info, you don't you don't really get any value out of it. The only thing you get is if you do the aggressive wall, right? You you slow and then you wall right away, and that that your value is that you play fast rotate A and you can't get any lurks. But and and aside from that, it's like almost like you're just the body patrolling mid, which feels really bad. Um, for your team and for yourself, so you know, force your Viper to cover mid or your KO, and then uh, you play towards anchor. Because your KO, honestly, his utils a lot better as a rotate, anyways. Like flashing high for teammates, things like that. Um, Selva typically is the guy that spots mid, and then he rotates A and darts. Um, but yeah, try to I guess know your identity on the on defense, and then just play accordingly pretty well so first things first obviously we were late to a but uh, in an ideal world you probably start uh right side site or i guess left side in our pov break dart fall back and then play towards maze but you know we don't get that done yeah. since we are late um when, once they start scaling like this you hear this obviously the gen wall is good uh doing it like this is a little bit better than the diagonal one um okay. but you know it's okay the the reason why i like this one a little bit better like i said before is uh you, they don't get the angle on screens and you can kind of play around there a little bit better so like they start scaling up right side you can tuck um, stuff like that you can even leave yourself a gap if you wanted to but i haven't really played around with that too much but you know the your whole goal here is to delay right so after you wall you should probably slow your right side after you take a fight here right your arena dies or your jet dies rather uh wait who's this no, this is chamber um yeah you should probably just throw your slow here and then you, you can just hold the slow especially after this guy dies this would be even a better slow here um no, but you end up you, you end up going into the corner here uh i was looking know. for his gun i didn't realize his, his gun is up on the yeah pipes, pipes. yeah and i was just I was, like looking for it i was like where is it that was good though Wait, this what? guy just insta looks up mid but fuck it that's the one round we don't play mid he looks mid um overall pretty good the wall was good uh ideally we just throw a couple slows and it would have been perfect Rotating back here, A here, 5v3, you probably so don't take all of sight. It's A, it's A, they're here. You get the kill they're though? Here. Oh. No, I'm, I'm falling back. back. It's a little bit risky, but fuck it. Well, this guy gives you the smoke, I'd, I'd go wide just because I'm greedy, but fuck it. How? NT, NT. Yeah, I'm bad. I mean, it's realistically not a great fight to take, but... That's a little bit to do on the speed thing. Let me mute real quick. But you can kind of see, right? Uh, speed's a little bit slow here. Nothing too much to to really get too mad about. It's just we get double peaked. I guess you could have argued. Now that I'm thinking about it, maybe it would have been better for you to drop down uh, when you're on rafter here. Like you took the initial fight on this guy uh, walking across. Uh, well, that was a little bit before actually. Oh, so they know I'm upper. Yeah, so they know you're upper. So you could like fake your bullet, go down, and then when you're down, it lets you play around the cover here in the box a little bit better, right? So once you swing past here, like for example, if you're uh, be on the floor right now, um, you'd be towards the box, right? So this this jet wouldn't be able to fight you, and then you can kind of like swing past and then fight the the raise here and then wall this off if you get the kill. Um, but I mean, it's a small thing. I think. Looking on a hindsight, definitely dropping down would have been a little bit more favorable, but it's okay, I think. It's okay. Especially if this guy was like still planning, you would have had great timing for that. Your team is doing really good. There, There's not really much impact we're doing with that util on defense right now, which is mainly just because we're playing towards mid so much. Um, this is a pretty good slow, though. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Honestly, it's kind of worth it. You were in this position before, right? So the only advice I can give you when you're stuck for a 10 like this, is just to throw out your util like there's no tomorrow. Like pickle a side of wall, you know, slow another side, go swing something. Um, you, you still do trade one for one, which is honestly pretty good considering the rocket and the fatal, but you might've been able to get 
a little bit more value out of your life just by uh, throwing some shit around. Yeah, I had several seconds here to do stuff. But, you know, fuck it. Got yours. Okay, so here with, with Rez, um, I really like to do, one small play I like to do with my Rez is just take the fight mid. Be like, hey, I'm a slow mid, let's double walk down. Or sometimes I don't even slow it. And then you guys just, you you trade the guy and he gets the kill, then obviously you just fall back. But, um, you know, it's r unlikely that they go heavy mid unless they're mid to B, which is pretty rare, right? So you can kill the one lurker or trade out the lurker and res, it's pretty powerful. Um, top screens, top screens is really good. Uh, there's this little trick you can do actually, if you, you can wall like directly beneath you. I saw Austin do this. Uh, so he was top screens and then he just walled maze. Uh, I blow him and they thought that he was a little bit closer, so they even checked uh, top screens. That was pretty good. Um, oh, and you just kind of tuck in that corner and hide. Wait for yeah, close. yeah. Huh. I, thought I, I thought it was creative. Looks you can also have your teammate play up here and then uh, he dies, you res, because his body falls behind screens. Like three belt. Oh my god, you guys are so good! <laughs> what is going on? You just get double fade bit. <laughs> I was lost this round. Okay, so defense, not nothing too much, right? We didn't really get too many.